about the bass. I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. And these are very lovely basses. Look, it's a new thing. This is a new thing. It's a new thing. It's a new thing. You've never the, seen these. Oh, uh, we we haven't. It's a new thing from the lovely, lovely people at Sire. Um, it's their first venture into the short scale bass market. Ooh. It's been, oh, I've been waiting for a long time for these actually. There's been uh, rumours for a while, for the last couple of years, um, oh. prototype scene and things, and they're finally here. Yeah. And and they, they look very lovely, don't they? Oh, mate, yeah, they look gorgeous. And I love that colour. I, oh, this is beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. That is. Um, I'm just blown. I don't know if this, we should be used to this brand doing this to us by now, but this is the first time I've plugged them in, but we'll get talking to about them, but I'm, I'm in love already. Well, there you okay. go. There, there's a, you know, for, for the size, um, it's just absolutely massive sounding. <laughs> the low end on it is incredible. Okay. Um, but anyway, anyway, we'll go into that. So we run you through some specs. I think we should. Tell we us have, what you got. We have um, a lovely alder body. Uh, we have maple top uh, on all of these. This one's covered up because you've uh, got the painted uh, painted finish. But you can see the lovely flame maple on that. Mm. Flaming boy on this one as well. A little bit quilty in, in places. Quilty. Quilty. And carved. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah, carved top. So you've got like a proper proper arch to the to the top of it. Um, you've got maple neck, maple board, rolled fingerboard edges like you get on every sire now. Oh yeah. Which is gorgeous. Um, just feel really, really uh, lovely, lovely finish. Feels worn in. Um, you've got some, yep, yeah, nice sort of standard, standard tuning and bridge pieces. First passive com uh, configuration. Right, right. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, this is new for sire, isn't it? Yeah, we normally use this like, you know, uh, gushing known, over, known, over known the preamps. Known for their active preamps. Yeah. So this is a, a new kind of uh, venture for them. Yeah, getting involved in the, um, in the passive bases. Um, but again, you wouldn't, oh man, you wouldn't know. Just feeling that and the, feeling the sound of it, you know, and feeling the pressure that's moving in the in the room, you wouldn't know this. It hasn't got a, a bass preamp in it or you know a bass no, boost in it. They are really lively. We we just um, uh, did a, a different video with some different basses, the Squire Paranormal basses actually. And uh, as soon as we plug these in, these are markedly louder. Just the, yeah, just the volume. We have to really sort of yeah bring everything back, touch it all back a bit because it's a uh, yeah these are really hot, <laughs> really hot basses. Yeah. Lots, so, uh, lots of output. Yeah. And we like do. that. We, we do. like lots of output. We do. Yeah, and you've got the classic PJ configuration. So split P, 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 uh, split, split P. P. Split P. Oh my God. I split can't P. So again, split P uh, <laughs> pick up here. Uh, <laughs> split P. Oh, you've got a matching headstock on that one. That's nice. I do. That's a nice touch. It's nice, man. Uh, easy action truss rod. Yeah, man, just feel really, really good. Looks like they've um, sorted out these, um, like an upgraded uh, hardware on the knobs as well. And the, the pots, these feel extra kind of uh, swish and sturdy. Yes, that's true. And uh, dinky. And dinky. It's more than what we're normally used to. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I mean, that's enough chat. I think people want to know okay. what they sound like. Yes, you shall we? Shall I? Mr. Maestro. Come on then, all right. Play. I will start on... Oh, good, back up. Tone off. Here we go. Yeah. 
Vi tager vi nogen? Front pickup. Turn off. But uh, small at the same time. But small. Massive but small. Tone on four. Both pickups, turn off. Stank. Total fully on. <laughs> sounds all right, man, did it? Sounds beautiful, man. That's a, that's a, that's a, a lovely thing. It's a huge, huge sounding bass. Yeah. Um, and, and right, so yeah, so it's 30 inch scale length. You didn't mention as well, like standard sort of short scale. <coughs> Is that that short? Inch. Is it? Cause so so long is thirty four. That's it. Medium would be thirty two. That's it. So it's thirty. Okay. Yeah, and there there are a few variations. Some have gone a little bit shorter. Some makes and brands over the years, but but yes, it's pretty standard thirty inch. But um, okay. But and obviously, this is going to appeal to various sorts of people. Uh, so uh, maybe yeah. uh, well, obviously, students, young people, people mm. who've got smaller hands. Absolutely. Um, and uh, guitar players, maybe, who find uh, a regular bass too much of a stretch, you know. Yeah. This is a good option for them. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. So there you go. Too it's, right. Uh, yeah. You see, you know, but there's been a bit of a drought, uh, you know, over, over the years of sort of, of quality short scale instruments. But just at the mm. moment, we're seeing, we're seeing a load, aren't we? Yeah. They've come out onto the market. It's just recently, amazing. we've done like GNL, That's and, right. uh, Music yeah. Man, yeah. are doing one. Music Man, uh, great. Squire. You've got some coming through. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and these guys now as well, uh, coming into the, coming into uh, end of the game so well, uh, this is it it's, it's amazing to see. and it's, it's it's great to see as well because like the last three years that we're, we've they, the, the only ones on the market were always the epiphone ebo like sg bass yeah because because uh, we've done some some, some previous shows haven't we sort of doing a shootout between i think there was like there's a little dinky ibanez one that's right yeah um, yeah uh, it's got a metally looking on oh, the you micro know. is it oh, the yeah micro yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the uh, gibson like you say yeah that's so, right yeah. so there really is a load of choice if you're in the market yeah. for a short scale bass there is a lot of choice these days and you see you say like the, these new boys getting involved as well because they, they know that they can make some beautiful beautiful instruments um really really reasonable really pri uh, reasonably priced um and they can compete with the big boys you know say because if you've got some short scales now that are coming out 800 to a grand and, and plus, I, might as well try I this think as the well. GNL ones are even more, like 1300 quid or something. Yes, like absolutely. The, yeah, the American made ones. And apparently they've got some, um, some, some uh, short scales coming in the tribute range as well. Oh, so have uh, we haven't got them yet, but yeah, they should be around four, 500 quid. So, oh. but they, yeah, everyone's getting involved. Yeah, just to say, make some affordable, affordable short scales. These are great, worth mentioning, left-handed versions of all of them as well. Oh, right. <laughs> that literally, you can't escape. Nobody's can't escape. left out. There's no excuse not to get a short scale. So, um, and that's a great thing to see as well. In every color, normally there might just be one color that you get to choose for the left hand, but yes, this is, um, you've got an option in all of them and some pretty serious, pretty serious price on this as well. 399. 399 under 400 really? quid. Yeah, man, 400 quid for all of that quality. Oh. So rolled edges, carved tops. That like, is very, uh, very reasonable. That, that's, a, that's a lot of base yeah. uh, for that money. 
And it sits like right smack bang in the middle of you know where most of that range is at the moment, between under a grand, um, yeah, between sort of two hundred quid and a grand. This is really you know sort of setting the setting the pace. You Very know, nice. as the new but, the new one to have. Uh, should we do some tones uh, with the uh, alternate uh, playing styles? Do it, yeah, yes. Do you know what I mean? Do you know pick what I mean? It, like pick it, slap it, all that stuff. All that. I'm not going to mess about. Just all the pickups on all the time. Let's just do it. <laughs> It's out, you wouldn't know, would you? You wouldn't know that you're playing a slightly dinky bass. It sounds massive. It's it a big sound. bigger than a lot of the normal It's a big bass sound. It's a big sound. You've mm -hmm. got a lot uh, through a body uh, or through bridge. You've got the choice oh. there on the stringing. Well spotted. Well it's, spotted, yeah. We're still finding little treasures with these offers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great. It's the gift that doesn't stop giving. That's it. So there you go. I think... Uh, we quite like these, don't we? Uh, for that money, yeah. three nine nine. Yeah, man, they're great. They're absolutely great. That's, I can't that's, forget. I can't think that's affordable. Else. I think Do you'll I? trust. Uh, you'll agree on that. Well, it depends how much money you got, doesn't it? Yeah. But uh, you know, <laughs> of course, <laughs> three nine nine. But look at that. Look at that. Well, even for the maple, even for like a solid maple top, you know, it's it's, it's crazy. I, crazy, I have to say that I do. I do love that colour. I've always been a fan of that. Whatever that is, sea foam green sea or whatever green, they call it. Green. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the only solid colour. The, the other ones are too, you know, the natural and you've got the uh, sort of vintage tobacco there. Okay, so that's that's uh, the finish. That's this the is the range, yeah. And in left-handed and right-handed. There you go. Yeah. Say no more. Say and no I think more. we shall say no more. No problem. So, uh, yeah, that's all you need to know. If, if you really, uh, if you need to, try and uh, get into the store and check them out because we've got them all here. Yeah, um, absolutely. But, or you could just take our word for it. And uh, just buy them. You know, if you don't like it, send it back. Simple. Uh, but I, you know what? I think you will love it. So uh, just, yeah, go on. Get your credit card out. Get involved. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Right. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. has been all about the base. I've been mm. Nathan. I've been Lee. These have been the little short scale sires. <gasps> These are, yes, the Sire U5s. Welcome, boys. See Welcome. you next time, folks. Bye. Yeah.